The knee joint has three surfaces, the articular cartilage of the femur, the tibia, and a semicircular structure between the two called the meniscus. There are two menisci in the joint, one medial and one lateral. They act like shock absorbers, allowing any load to spread evenly throughout the joint. On this coronal T1 image, a normal meniscus is highlighted. It is the dark triangular structure. Here I'm using a probe to examine a lateral meniscus. This differs from the medial side as it has an opening or a hiatus to allow the passage of a tendon of the popliteus muscle through the joint. The tendon is the structure running diagonally at the back of the meniscus. Both the medial and lateral menisci have been highlighted on this coronal MRI. When the knee is imaged from the side or sagittal plane, the meniscus is clear to see. It is the dark structure with a shape similar to that of a black bow tie. When looking at the medial meniscus, it can be appreciated how this structure increases the contact area in the joint between the femur and tibia, seen here between the two red arrows. If the meniscus were removed, the size of the area of contact between the femur and tibia is reduced, so an individual's weight would not be spread evenly throughout the joint, and this can lead to accelerated wear. This is a particular problem in the lateral compartment. The convex surfaces of the femur and tibia mean that without a meniscus, a person's weight is concentrated on a very small area. It is for this reason, attempts to preserve the meniscus when injured should be attempted with a repair rather than removal whenever possible.